Hello. Yeah. Right. Welcome to Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. Oh, there you go. With Harry Boy. I'm, I'm Ben Asher Report. We're going to play Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. Let's hit play. Um, yeah. Is it an special edition or is it just. No, it's the first edition. First edition. Okay. Just normal. Normal, normal. Normal, normal. 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 Here you go. Thank you. Ready? Ready to take a seat? PlayStation, Sony, computer, Google. Go around me. It's real hot in here. Yep, you know what it is. Sell it all. Sing it along. Oh, Come on, join in. Bollocks. Who wants to be a millionaire? Millionaire. Okay. All right. Thank you. As we know, screen. Screen needs to be adjusted. Just one player. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Thanks a million. Thanks, Thanks a million. million. Just one. Okay. One Billy, the two of us got our hands. What? Our hands team. Lane, yeah, Doctor Doolittle. To the just put it as my name. Okay. My name. Mm. Honey boy. I'm on my own one day. Thanks. You're welcome. Right, you need instruction. No. Okay, let's play. Who wants to be a Woohoo! I missed this game. Oh god. Oh yes. Thanks, William. Right, here we go. You're 15 questions away, away from, from one million, million pounds. pounds. Here's the first question for 100 pounds. Here's the first question. Complete the name of the famous fictional twins Tweedon and Tweedledon't, Tweedledee, Tweedledash, Tweedledup. Do you know that one, Ben? Um, I think it's Tweedledee. All right, take your time. You've still got all three lifelines. You've still got 50 seconds. Phone a friend and ask the audience. I'll go for B. Nah, I know what it is. It's B. What did you say that one? Yeah, that's a B. Final answer. It's easy. It's B. <laughs> it's good. You can. Yeah, well, right. we all know that one. All right, we'll be all for challenge. Here's question two. It's worth two hundred. Here it is. Which objects do you associate with grandfathers and cuckoos? Clocks, uh, dunces caps, nests, walking sticks. Go for... Alright, take your stick. time. You've still got all three lifelines. You've still got 50-50. Hang on. Um, I think one of the um, cuckoos was, um, was a clock. Cuckoos. It could be... I think it could be cuckoos. I think it could be walking sticks. Well, there's only one answer. It can't be like, you know, two or anything. I don't know. Hmm. Shame it's just only one. Just one answer. Just give me a minute to think. Um... It could, it could be a clock. Let's try a clock. Final answer. Are you confident? No, I'm not confident. Uh, kind of. It's correct. You got. Yeah, it's correct. Points. Well, you were wrong. I was right. I'm oh, well. I bet everyone will be sharing that screen on YouTube saying that's the answer. That's an easy question. Yeah, we all know that. 
300. Slices of which meat would be served in a traditional English breakfast. Veal, bacon, mutton, turkey. Bacon. Oh, it's a bacon. Too easy. Alright. All right. Are you happy with yep. Yeah, I'm happy Sausage, with bacon and eggs and throw it in. That's one of them. Yes, you have 300 pounds. What? 300 quid. Yeah, 300 quid, I thought. Right, you're 12 questions away from the minute. And this one is worth 500 pounds. Take time. Have a look. Let's have a look. What is the Latin American dance that uses small steps and swaying hip movements? Chi Chi, Cha Cha, Chu Chu, Cha Cha. Cha Cha. Sorry? Cha Cha. Are you sure? Uh, confident. Don't you want to use a lifeline? Mm, if you can, if you want to, give 50 50. Let's see what that does. Okay, time to go 50 50. Computer, take away two wrong answers, please, leaving the right answer and the one remaining wrong answer. Oh. Yep. So, what do you think? Is it B? Let's try that one. That? Cha cha. Cha cha fly. You're right, you got it. <laughs> well, that was easy. <laughs> yeah, I was right. 500 quid. You've still got two lifelines. Phone a friend and ask the audience. Nice. Okay, have a look. Uh, you're just one question away from your first milestone. It's for a guaranteed 1,000. Lovely. Here it comes. What animal is the largest ape? Ray Newton, chimpanzee, gorilla, gibbon. Gorilla. You're only just guessing, aren't you? No, nope, I know most of them. Are you sure, Ben? Because if you. If... Up to you too, it's up to you too. I don't have a clue. I mean, it could be it a. It could be C or B, but there's only one answer. Hmm. Should we ask the audience? Yeah, sure, why not? I mean, like, if they gave us a wrong answer, we were actually going with nothing. Okay, True. Right. What's they say? Someone there. Well, they're all confident. Seventy-three percent for a gorilla. Right yeah, I was right. Twenty-three for A, well, three for B, one for D. You don't have to go along with their answer. It's entirely up to you. Seventy-three C, twenty-three A, three B. I'll one. go for seventy-three. So let me just let me just go over that again. So seventy-three percent for a gorilla. 23 for Uran Newton, 3% for Chimbasing, and 1 vote for Gibbon. I'll go to see. I don't want to. Are you confident? Well, are you? Damn right, I am. Well done, you just yep, got right. Well done. Should have gone with your advice. Yeah, you should have. It's not easy, we've only got one lifeline. True. Well, we got a grand and still have a lifeline to phone a friend. Can't lose it all. Can't lose it all in. So, congratulations, you're now guaranteed a thousand pounds no matter what happens. Okay, going on. Question six is for two thousand pounds. Oh, God, that's really fun. Question number six for two thousand pounds. Oh, God. And we've still got to phone a friend. Let's go. Here it comes. What is the unit of currency in Denmark? Dretchmuth? Um, ruble, Mark. I don't have the Scoobies. You don't have the Scoobies. Yeah. Now take your time. I have no idea actually. I don't know. I'm not there. I'm not from Denmark. I don't have a bloody clue. Well, why would you go to Denmark? Because apparently they've got really nice chocolate bars over there. Chocolate bars? <laughs> <sighs> I'm gonna try Crone B. Final answer. Up to you. I don't want something gone. Are you happy with that? Yeah, but it's gone orange anyway, so we can't change it. Yep, oh well. You just won two. Way! Two grand. And that worked. We still have a phone a friend. I hope so. We can, we can save it for the million pounds. They'll be yeah. well shocked if they got a million quid crash. Yeah, right. I mean. You are now just nine questions away from one million. Are we? Ah, oh, quick. But remember, the drops are pretty steep as well. Take a look at this. £4,000. I'll have a look then. Whoa, going to take a look at the question. Four grand. Here it is. Let's take a look. Dry ice is a solid form of which gas? Nitrogen, chlorine, ammonia, carbon dioxide. Mm. I know. You sure, Ben? Wait, hold on. Just think over, Ben. There's no time limit. Clear a phone. What's that thing that you, that you put on the wall when you... Condensation. It's not on there, is it? No. 
I'll go for B or B. No, I go for B. I think it's carbon dioxide. It could be that. Should we try that one? If you want to. Let's see what that does. Let's see what it does. Carbon it? dioxide, fine answer. Are you happy with that? Well, it's gone orange anyway. Yeah, it's change it. It's the right answer, you've got well, oh, 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 oh. But I don't know what chlorine is. It's something that you put in the swimming pool to keep it clean. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, you put chlorine in, in the swimming pool to keep it clean. If you don't, you just get all mucks and everything, like green snots or whatever it is. Blood. Okay, going on. Question 8 coming oh, up. Oh, look, what it is. 8,000 pounds. 8,000 pounds. Take your time on this, you don't have to play. Here it comes. Well, we're doing alright, we've still got a phone with friends. It's a good thing. Let's go. For eight grand. Which football club plays home games at Goodison Park? Everton, Spurs, West Ham, Wimbledon. Um, Wimbledon, no. Hmm. I don't think Wind Wimbledon, no, not Wind Wimbledon. I don't think it's West Ham. No. It could be Spurs or Everton. So this question is for £8,000. I think it's Everton. Could be Just Everton. Be the wrong answer would cost you Should we go for Everton? Yeah. Mm. Hope right. Final answer? Yeah. But well, it's not West Ham because that's my football team. Because you know oh, I'd love to say you just won £8,000. Yeah. And I can. You have just won oh. £8,000. Well, thank God I didn't go for West Ham. <laughs> yeah, because you would have got that wrong. Yeah, we just lost. would have lost. 3,000. But thank God it's Everton, we picked that one and we got 8 grand. Right, and let's go on to okay, question number 9 for 600 pounds. You're doing really well. If you play and get it wrong, you'll drop 7,000 pounds. That's bad. If Don't you play and get it right, you'll double your money to 16,000. Because I'm, I'm a West Ham supporter and you're an Arsenal supporter. Yeah, I know the well. Arsenal, you know the well. Let's West Ham. And look, West Ham do not own, but do not work, go to Jordan. Goodison Park. Goodison Park. Mm. In mythology, what kind of creature it was? Cerberus. Centaur, dog, eagle, serpent. Dog. You're just guessing, aren't you? No, no, most of them. I know a lot of them. Don't want to be a dog. I'm guessing it could be a dog. I think it's a dog. I remember it being a dog. I remember it. So you think it was a dog? Yeah, what do you think it is? I don't know. A leopard. What? Now, at this point, you could obviously walk do you want to try a dog? Absolutely, yeah. I mean, it's your answer. You choose that yeah, one. Let's go on to it. Final answer? Final answer. Final answer. We scored orange now. But we can't change anything. We can't do anything if it goes wrong. You've just won. Well done, Ben! I told you. Good choice, Ben. I told you. I didn't know you know that one. Oh. I learned a lot of history. Or I learned a lot of army, what it's called. Um, what about 16 animals. grand. Let's move on. Let's try for £32,000. You can still oh. phone a friend if you want to. Well, we don't want to phone a friend because we're going to phone right now. Now you can take that 16,000, but you're just six questions away from one million pounds. The next question, if you go for it and you get it right, is worth a guaranteed 32,000 pounds. Have a look at it. Good Let's luck. have a look at it. Let's go back. Let's have a look at it. Let's have a good luck. Let's have a look at it. Here we go. What's the question? Let's have a look. The question is. Question. What colour are the flowers of the labyrinth tree? Red, blue, pink, yellow? Hmm. I think it would be... No, it wouldn't be blue, because blue doesn't... No, blue's not a colour tree. No, blue's not a colour leaf. Yellow. Yellow or pink. Hmm. It might be red. Or it might be... Oh, it might be, it might be wrong. You don't have to I thought play, I'm afraid of it. But if you do give me a correct answer... I'm coming to release. I'm beginning to think it might be yellow. It could be yellow, or it could be pink. I'm right at. I am confidently sure it could be yellow. Mm. I I rather like to play yellow. Do you want to play yellow? I'm going to try yellow. Final answer. Yep, must be final answer. Are you confident? Yep. But we're going to wait until the next part. We're going to find out if yellow was the right answer of the labyrinth tree. And see if we won £32,000 or drop down to a 1000 Have we got £32,000? Find out in the next part tonight. Who wants to be a millionaire? Don't go away. We'll be right back.